Well, welcome everybody. I'm glad that we are here today. This is Oakwood University and this is the president's blog, my video blog. And I get a chance to talk to different students, different faculty members, different employees to get a sense of how they're experiencing this incredible transition that has been instigated by the coronavirus and its appearance. As you can see, everyone is in a state of disruption and upheaval. And many of us don't know where things are going, but we have a faith that sustains us. So with that in mind, Oakwood University is talking to its publics about the very things that all are experiencing. And hopefully we can learn from the people that we talk to and they can learn from us. So the person that we're talking to today is the president of our student government, Ms. Griggs, Ms. Alexa Griggs. She, we all call her Lexi. Uh, she's a wonderful person and a graduating senior. Welcome, Alexia. Hello, Dr. Fowler. How are you doing today? I am doing well. I'm doing well. I've just got to watch. Be careful that I don't keep looking at at the little uh, at your little picture in the upper right hand corner. <laughs> um, I am so grateful that you've taken a few moments to talk about your experience. You left campus last Friday, right? About six days ago. Was that about yeah, right? Yeah, right around there. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, um, what was that like? You were going back home. You've been away for what, four years now? Yes. Uh, as a graduating <laughs> senior, and you're going home. You left a teenager, like a teenage girl. And now <laughs> you are a woman. What's that like when you go back home? Um, well, personally, I'm not home as of yet. For myself and a lot of other seniors that are off campus, we had to. Um, adult very quickly and kind of make the decision, do we go home? Do we stay oh. here because we're off campus and, you know, okay. we have to pay rent and all these other things. Um, and so I'm actually going home later this week. Um, I talked to my parents and decided that it'd be best to come home okay. and leave my apartment here and still stay in contact and everything. But yeah, but I know for the students who were on campus and moving that it was um, it was a bit of a hectic week trying to get all of their stuff together, book a flight, and completely pack up their room um, no. for the remainder of the semester to go home um, with a week's notice, you know? And so I, it was a challenge for on both sides. <laughs> so what are you, okay, so that, that raises an interesting question. And, and I, of course, I wish you traveling safety as you go home. Thank what, you. What, what is the impact of this disruption of the coronavirus? upon student life. You're, you're in touch with our student body. What, what are you hearing and what is, what is our student body saying? Um, I think overall, there's just a bit of, students are feeling kind of overwhelmed with everything that's going on. Um, we don't have a whole lot of time to kind of process just because you're worried about the task at hand, which last week was moving and today was um, classes getting started. And so being in a new environment, even though you're it, your home is your home. It's still a new environment because you've been at school um, and things might have changed a little bit since you were there last. And so just learning new teaching styles because every teacher is different with the online mode mm -hmm. and just learning a whole lot of new stuff in a very short amount of time. <laughs> well, I, I remember when my daughter returned from Oakwood, we painted her room. And uh, that was quite a traumatic experience <laughs> for her. <laughs> said, you all painted my room. Nobody even know. told me. <laughs> she said, that's true. We didn't think about it. Oh, no. <laughs> but we're grateful, though. So I can imagine that there is there's some of that, some of that reentry trauma that's right, taking place right. with our student body. Correct? Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I th that's what I hear you saying. Okay, so then now you've started online classes, and that's something that we've offered now. We've had to make this major shift from in-classroom now to online. What is that experience like? And give us the good, the bad, and the ugly, because we want to hear the truth about this, because we're trying to get better at it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, starting with the good, I think a lot of professors have been very understanding and accommodating of the students, knowing that they're transitioning and knowing that it's been a rough week for um, students and professors trying to learn um, the new platform and the new way to structure their classes and for us as students, how to learn online. Um, the challenges, I won't say bad and ugly, okay. Okay. <laughs> has been just like when you start, um, just like when you start school in the online and the 
traditional setting, um, every teacher has a different teaching style and uses different resources and platforms to ensure that you learn the best. And I think students have had a, a real hard challenge um, learning the new platforms that teachers are using and then learning their new teaching style and still trying to submit assignments um, on top of that. Like a lot of teachers started their classes today and then have assignments to today or have tests or big exams um, this week or something major like that. And so that's been um, kind of frustrating and overwhelming and nerve wracking for students. Um, but I think if we keep open communication with our professors, the, we prayerfully um, hope that they will provide some fluidity when it comes to the assignments that are due today and this week and just a lot of understanding and grace as we move forward. <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting, Lexi, that that is exactly what I hear professors talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what we said as we did this morning on our Inside Oakwood broadcast and webcast, which you can look at on Facebook Live if someone is interested, uh, we shared a lot of information. But one of the things that came out in that Facebook Live moment is that we, we really do need to be forgiving with each other because for many professors, this is a whole new construct under which they are operating. And then for students, this is a whole new construct. Right. So let's enjoy it and say that we're learning together. We're both gonna make mistakes in this new medium, but um, together we'll make our way through it. And we need to release some of our perfectionistic expectations because those are what get in the way of us making progress. As someone said, Jim Collins said, the enemy of the good is the perfect. Okay. And this doesn't have to be perfect to be good. So we can have a good experience without it being a perfect experience. So now tell us about, okay, so tell us about your, your plans for the rest of the semester. Because suddenly you're not at your apartment with your roommates at least in a few weeks, you're not. And right. then you're, you're back in Houston. Houston is home, right? Yes, sir. All right. Great city, Southwest region. That's my home conference. So, so <laughs> that's great to hear. And then t tell us, though, a little bit about what your plans are. How, how many classes are you taking? And then what, um, what are your plans as, as, you, uh, as you get ready to leave Oakwood? Right. Well, as you said, I am a graduating senior finance major, psychology minor, and um, I currently am taking 21 credits. <laughs> because 21 credits? Yes, sir. 21 oh credits, um, which has been a handful, but you know, God, if God calls you to it, he'll see you through it. He will. So he will. Um, taking 21 credits and just trying to balance that in addition to moving. Um, after school, I've got a few programs that I've applied to, um, different residency programs, and then I have a potential job offer in Atlanta. So those are both exciting. Looking Good. forward to what the future has in store there. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we are. So, so we, of course, we have every intention of doing a graduation service. And we just need to know, We, of course, everybody's kind of reading the, the waves right now, right? Wait, right. Reading the tea leaves. Um, and so that's what we are working on. As a matter of fact, we had a very strong discussion about it this morning. And we figure by April, we'll have a little bit more clarity on where this mm -hmm. is going, mid-April, I mean. Um, and that's our idea. Our idea is that we'll have a rolling review of the of every month that's that's approaching us and so by middle april we'll have a sense of whether or not we can do it in may or whether we need to do it some later time in the school year so you keep okay. us in prayer and of course keep this coronavirus issue in prayer the, our fondest hope is to see each of you and there are 325 of you who wow. have cleared for graduation so yeah. we want to make sure that that happens that's awesome. We're really appreciative of that. I know a lot of the graduating seniors, including myself, are a little anxious about that because, That's you know, we've worked thing. so hard for to some of us five or more years to walk yes. across the seas and receive the diploma. And so it's great that you guys are keeping us in mind and we're grateful. We are. We are. We are. And it's a big thing for the institution, too, because we love seeing it happen and we love you. And the hardest part I've often told people the hardest part of my job is that once you get attached to students, they leave. <laughs> but of course, there are always more coming, but it's, it's different. They, they leave, you know, they leave. Um, well, 
Lexi, one last thing. How would you say the Institute, we, we see a lot of chatter right now in social media on how students have been treated by their institutions. How do you believe, and don't be afraid to tell me because we can get better, right? You don't have to be perfect to be good. So, so tell me how you believe Oakwood has handled this whole experience with our student body. I think um, the way that we transitioned last week was great. Um, I think providing transportation for students, and it was a very well thought through plan as far as how we were going to transition, um, making sure that we had buses to go to not only the Huntsville Airport, but also to Birmingham and Nashville was an awesome um, initiative and ensuring that the students had a full week to pack and that we didn't have to think about classes during that time was also great. Um, and then for the students that might not have been able to leave um, by Friday or the international students making sure that they still had a place to stay and, and that nobody was just homeless, you know. <laughs> I right, think the institution right. did a great job of taking care of us last week and moving forward, we're looking forward to that same care that we get here at Oakwood. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Where we want, it's our joy, of course, to serve students. It's our pleasure and as an institution, and I know I speak for the entire administrative team, that we want this to go well and we really enjoy the time that we spend supporting our students and trying to love you into the stratosphere of service. That's where we want you to go. And each of you represents the institution in so many impactful ways. And thank you so much for taking this time to be with us. We're on a mission and thank you for attending Oakwood University where we enter to learn and we depart to serve. Thank you, Lexi. May God bless you. Thank you. You too, Dr. Pollard.